Hey learner, welcome back to my channel. Before I start, please like and subscribe my channel for more content. Today we will going to learn about cardinal and ordinal utility. Utility is an economic term that refers to the total satisfaction received from consuming a good or service. Suppose here a man wants all these th things branded work, car, branded bag, a camera, jewelry, all. Therefore, these goods are give him satisfaction. Let us know about consumer behavior first. It is the study of how consumers decide to spend their income among different commodities to get maximum satisfaction. Suppose a person with his budget of 300 to spend on food would have two preference. Preference 1 pizza is cost of 275 rupees and preference 2 giant burger cost of 250 rupees. So on that case as a consumer increases the consumption of a good or service the marginal utility obtained from each additional unit of the good or service decreases. The total amount of satisfaction derived from the consumption of a single product or a combination of products. So utility represents that was to relate the amount of goods consumed to the amount of happiness or satisfaction that a consumer gets. So in case of the consumer behavior, there are mainly two approaches and these are the very important. The first one is cardinal approach or cardinal utility. So cardinal utility or cardinal approach to the determination of consumers equilibrium that postulates utility can be measured. It is the idea that economic welfare can be directly observable and be given a value. Suppose, people may be able to express the utility that consumption gives for certain goods like uh, suppose if a Nissan, Nissan car gives 5000 units of utility, a BMW would give 8000 units. So BMW is better than Nissan car. So I give you another example of cardinal utility that suppose a person can say that the utility he gets from the consumption of one unit of apple is double the utility he obtains from the consumption of one unit of orange. So basically it implies that a person can compare utilities derived from goods in respect of size that is how much one level of utility is greater than another. And remember, this is the oldest theory of demand. And now, the another approach is ordinal approach or ordinal utility. Opposing to the concept of classical economists, cardinal approach, modern economists claimed that absolute measurement of utility is never possible. According to this economists, utility is subjective phenomenon. It is not measurable, it is just expressible. So utility can be clearly expressed in terms of rank. Consumers suffice to be able to rank the various baskets of goods according to their satisfaction. I can give you an example. Suppose it's she prefers a glass of fruit juice to lemon soda. It means fruit juice has more utility than soda. In this case, fruit juice can be placed in the first position and soda in the second. In terms of utility, actually in her utility, she loves glass of fruit juice more than glass of lemon soda. And finally, let us check the key differences between ordinal approach and cardinal approaches. In case of the ordinal approaches, the consumption cannot be measured and the utility used for a grading or the ranking system. For cardinal, the consumption uh, can be measured 
and it's the oldest theory and it's understanding that how much utility is derived from consumption of a product ordinal approach is a much realistic and it's a qualitative measure and the convex function and carnal approach is uh, comparatively useful and um, it is a quantitative measure and also concave function that's all for today today we know about a very very important topic of microeconomics see you in our next video and now please like and subscribe press the bell icon for further content thank you so much so much.